Okay, looks good, here we go. All right, so over the last five or so years, I've been working my way up the ladder to become a professional ski photographer. And coming with that, I've learned a lot about how to efficiently use my backpack and how to organize my gear for both backcountry ski shoots as well as resort ski shoots. So I fit all my camera gear in this backpack and I kind of want to go show you guys today how my systems work and how I fit everything in there. So let's get right to it. We're at Alta today and we're shooting with a couple of people. So let's get right to it. Okay, so we're out on resort shooting, and I just want to show you guys the gear that I bring in resort day. So, this is just going to be basically the stuff that I just bring in resorts. Next up, we're going to jump into the backcountry, and I'll show you guys the rest of everything else. But basically, I bring my handy dandy 70 to 200. This comes with me on every resort shoot. It is a super useful lens. Um, I balled out and got a 70 to 200 2.8 uh, crushing lens, and I love the images that come out of it. Um, this is my body. I have a Nikon Z6. Um, big fan of the body. That is all the first thing. Um, I have this backpack structured so that I can switch my body on either lens and it's going to fit into my backpack. Um, it just makes things flow a lot faster. Uh, this coat that I keep on pulling out is so that my camera isn't like jostling around in there. It just helps provide a little padding. Okay, this is the other lens I bring. This is my 24 to 70. Um, this is more of a wide angle lens, whereas the other one is much more punched in. This is also a 2.8 lens, but these are the only lenses that I own. So I just balled out on really expensive glass, but not a huge variety. Um, but I've, in my experience, this is almost basically everything I need for focal range. I have 24 all the way to 200 covered. Um, so that's my other lens and it just fits in this nice little pocket. Um, additionally, I have a little pouch right here that has spare batteries in it. So I have two extra batteries whenever I need to swap those. And then I have a little microfiber and then that's pretty much it. Um, and then on the outside of the pack, we have these radios. So we carry radios for all of our production crew so that the other, the videographer behind the camera has a radio on his pack and then our athlete also gets a radio so that we can all communicate no matter if we can see each other or not. Drop in three. Here we go. Beep. Uh, super helpful for shooting in resort and also backcountry. Um, and that's pretty much it. Today I'm also bringing the tripod out. Um, that's just because we're doing some filming. That is all that I have for in resort. Now let's jump into the backcountry and see kind of what changes. Okay, now we're in the backcountry. First thing you can see that's changed is my coat. I have this much lighter wind layer coat that I put on for ski touring. Um, when you're touring up, walking uphill, you get really hot. So this is a nice little wind layer that doesn't keep me too hot. Um, when I'm skiing down, I have a puffy in my backpack that I throw on and that helps a lot. So let's kind of see what changes inside the backpack. Let me take it off real quick. Okay, so looking in my backpack, um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see over there, but we'll throw some footage over. Um, first thing that changed is I don't have my zoom lens. So my 70 to 200 comes out and gets replaced by a water bottle. Uh, that's just mostly a weight reduction thing. And also I don't usually need it in the backcountry. Um, there's sometimes like certain missions that I know I want it and I'll bring it. But most of the time I replace it with a water bottle and throw some extra gloves in there. Um, this, my 24 to 70, and my DSLR stays the same, in the same pocket as well. And then we also got some AVI gear. So, in, let me zip this up. In the back of this backpack, um, when you're in the backcountry, you gotta be very avalanche safe and aware. And so, we have to carry gear to be able to rescue somebody. Um, so, we have a shovel that I carry so we can dig somebody out, and it's also useful for building jumps whenever we want to. Additionally, I have a probe in here. So this has multiple purposes. The primary purpose is if somebody gets buried in an avalanche, we're able to probe around and find them. Um, additionally, if we're building like a jump or some fun feature, we're able to test how deep the snow is so we can see how much um, playroom we have with the snow. And so those fit in here. And this backpack is the Low Pro 
Whistler 350. Um, it's actually made for skiing and stuff. So this backpack pocket has like a pocket for the probe and shovel and it's made for that. So it's really handy to have that. Um, additionally, when I have my puffy, I don't have my puffy today, but when I do carry it, it goes in this pocket right between, right next to my uh, shovel. Um, and then the top pocket. Um, I have this nice little top pocket in here. This has a, a satellite radio or satellite communication device. Uh, it's called a Garmin InReach Mini. Um, this, my primary reason for bringing this everywhere is it has an SOS button. Um, and so if I get into a really bad situation, I can call in a helicopter to save us. So that is something I bring with me pretty much every day, no matter where I'm going. I just kind of put it in here and then forget about it. Uh, zipping that back up. We also got, this is generally where snacks go snacks and sometimes if I want to bring my drone and if a drone's allowed in a location I'll throw that up here as well and that's pretty much it um, additionally one of the other functions of this backpack is that if I need to I can slide my skis in the side and I can boot pack with my skis on my back so they just go right here kind of I'll demonstrate with this pole they slide in like this and then I cinch in the skis and they show like that so that's a really handy feature that also shows that this backpack is like attuned for skiing. Um, that is basically it that changes in the backcountry. Um, it's not too complicated and it's a good time. Okay, so that's the ski gear that I've acquired over the last couple years of skiing. Um, this backpack has been super good for me. I've had it for three or so years and it's only broken a couple things, nothing too important. Um, yeah, I mean, after a lot of time in, the, in skiing photography, we definitely have to fine tune your gear so that you're really efficient. And I think that I've gotten to a pretty good point with that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna check out another one of our videos, click on this link and I'll see you guys on the next one.